In this video, we will cover setting our favorite languages and the favorite races and demographics, and we'll also do the print fax box setting. So to start with languages and races, I'm going to open up a test patient or really any patient and click on the info screen to get in demographics. And if I start with language here, I'll click on the dots. And first of all, if I uncheck show all, I can see all the languages that I have already favorited in here. If I wanted to uncheck Swedish and go back and redo that one, I'm going to show all screen. I search for Swedish. I'll click that favorite box for whatever one I want to favorite and click on save favorite. If you're adding multiple in there, like if I wanted to favorite this one right here, I click on favorite. I have to click save favorites after each screen in order for it to save. And that way it's really easy. I'm not searching for frequent languages. So I'm having a, a lot of Spanish patients. I can uh, uncheck this and I can quickly see the, my short list of languages without having to type each and every time. Change that and click OK. That's now updated. Same thing for race. If I click in the little dots here, you can see the ones that I've already favorited. Uh, this is really helpful for all FQHCs because uh, UDS requirements has additional races now. So instead of having to type it in each time, if you have a long list on your demographic forms, you can save all of the ones that you need. And again, I would just add that when you're in here and you're searching for things, like you show all, one of them is other Pacific Islander, that after you favorite it, you click on save favorites to be safe after each one that you type in. So if I do try American Indian for Alaska Native, that is one of them for UBS. I will click on favorite and then click on save. And then, like I said, next time you go in there, you've got a nice short list that's easy to pick from instead of having to search for it each and every time. Okay, so that's those two things. I'm going to say don't save on my test patient. The next thing we're going to do is the print fax lock setting. So if I go to the menu over here, I always just come to the search bar and search for things. So I'm going to come over here and search for print. Comes up pretty quickly, print fax lock settings. So for print settings, what we will have here for our practice is that for providers, their default style will be modern two. And for any nurse visit, theirs will be personalized. So if you're a provider, you're modern too. If you're a nursing staff, med medical assistant staff, anyone that would lock a nurse visit note, then your default style is gonna be personalized. Uh, feel free to hide all the other ones so that you don't see them in the list at all, even to choose from when you go to print. Uh, for fact settings, we can just set everything to modern too, regardless of whether you're a nurse or a provider. So if you're faxing any kind of note out, it all goes out on the same style. Like I said, for lock settings here, um, for providers, it's gonna be modern too. For uh, clinical support staff, you're gonna change yours to personalized. Consult notes, print settings, change it to modern too. And again, if you wanna hide the other ones, you can hide the other ones. And consult notes, fax settings, modern too. So to recap, pretty much everything is modern too, except for the lock settings which the providers will be modern too. Clinical support staff will be personalized. Um, and same thing for clinical, for, for, for print settings as well. Providers will be modern too. Any nurse visits and things will be personalized. You can change that to your My Default file. When I click on Save, it will say, please log in again for your changes to take effect. The next time you log in, or if you log out and log back in, that will be saved. That's all for the videos for now.